I'm Raj Singh. I'm President and CEO of Bank United. Well, the story of Bank United really goes back to about eight years, uh, to 2009, just as we were in the, the darkest part of the financial crisis, is when uh, the old Bank United uh, had failed. Uh, me and two of my partners uh, started a new bank uh, and raised about a little less than a billion dollars of capital uh, to buy the assets and liabilities of the old Bank United from the FDIC after it, it, it went into receivership. So I've been here at Bank United uh, since day one, I'm one of the founders, and have been involved in every aspect of running the bank since then. And uh, so I guess that's sort of prepared me for uh, taking the next obvious step of, of actually taking over as president and CEO earlier this year. I think the day-to-day -day is not that different from what I was doing prior to, to taking over as CEO. I think the biggest change is that uh, I have ultimate responsibility for anything that good or bad that happens in the company. So there's added responsibility and, 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 and a lot of it. Uh, but in the day-to-day -day, uh, of running the bank, it's not that different. I, I've been very fortunate, actually, uh, in my career to have had very good mentors along the way, uh, not by design, totally by luck. So, uh, you know, I started my career in banking. Uh, I was recruited by a, a person uh, who has eventually went on to become CEO of Bank of America. He was my mentor for the first 10 years of my career. Uh, then I ended up at uh, North Fork Bank where John Canis, who was eventually CEO of Bank United and my partner here for the last eight years, he became my mentor. In between that, I did work for about a year in private equity uh, and I was working for Wilbur Austin Company where Wilbur was my mentor. Wilbur is now the Commerce Secretary for, for our nation. So I've always been very fortunate to have worked for people. Uh, who have mentored me and helped me in my career along the way. And, and like I said, it's, it's more luck than design, and uh, it's worked out well for me. Uh, Short-term goals, we're a public company. We are on a three-month cycle with the street. You have to deliver earnings and, 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 and uh, returns to your shareholders uh, every day, every quarter, every year. Uh, the long-term goal, which I actually uh, think about and spend more time worrying about, is uh, is how, how do we keep developing Bank United into a premier financial institution in the Southeast and also in New York. Uh, we've had a great amount of success over the last eight years, but I would say that was chapter one. We're now in chapter two of, of what will hopefully be a multi-chapter book. So there is a, a, a great deal of uh, uh, things to accomplish over the course of next five and 10 and 15 years, and we're just getting started. The most important thing for a bank is the economic health of the markets that we operate in. If the economy is not doing well, the bank will not do well. We're, lending, we're in the lending business, and, and so we are very, very closely tied to the, the health of the economy. And I have to say, uh, over the last six, seven years, both in New York and Florida, uh, we couldn't have asked for better conditions and better economic environment. And of course, you could always say if the growth had been even faster, even you know, would have been even better for us. That's great. But the stability that we've had in these two markets, Miami and Manhattan, has been phenomenal. And, and, and I continue to see that, at least as far as we can see over the next 12 or 18 months, we don't see any signs of any, any deterioration in the economy, which is great. Eventually, the business cycle will turn because that's just the, you know, the, 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 the way things are. And when that happens, uh, you have to be very careful as a bank to position the bank in a way uh, that you get through it uh, with minimal uh, impact on you. So the economy is doing well. The bank is doing well. Uh, we always, are, we're, as bankers, are trained to look out for signs of trouble. Uh, we don't see any yet, but you know we're, we're looking every day to make sure there isn't any clouds forming on the horizon. It's been one of transformation. Remember, bank, the old Bank United was really a thrift, which uh, the primary business that it was in was uh, residential lending, residential mortgage lending. And also, it, it was a, a national player to lend money all over the country, but it gathered deposits in the, in, in the South Florida market. That was the original business model of what we bought. 
what we bought and then what we've transformed this to is really a commercial bank. Uh, we, you know, our sweet spot has gone from homeowners looking for a, a first or a second mortgage to small and medium-sized businesses looking for growth capital, whether they're looking for a loan to build a new warehouse or they need more financing for their receivables or what have you, the day-to-day -day, uh, nuts and bolts lending that, that is uh, needed by uh, uh, typical small to medium-sized businesses. That's become our core business. So our relationship uh, with the community uh, has evolved from being a consumer banking player to a commercial banking player, almost completely different business. And, and, and we've, we've, we've done really well uh, in this market. I mean, we, when we bought the bank, to give you an example, I think our deposits, one measure of our size, was just about $8 billion, maybe even less than $8 billion. Today, we're over $20 billion. And it's all happened through organic growth, through just you know bringing in one customer at a time and, and growing the bank the traditional way. And this so is an entrepreneurial company. This is not a stodgy old bank. Uh, this is a, a, a company that has been assembled by like-minded people over the course of the last eight years. Almost anybody who works here came from another bank because they bought into the vision of what Bank United is. It's not, you know, being an eight-year-old bank, you don't have, you can't say that, oh, you know, there are people who worked here for 35 years and they started out of college and they've been working here and this is all they know. That's not what this place is. This place is, you know, when we came here seven, eight years ago, we basically said we have the capital, we have the desire to build a leading in financial institution in South Florida and people who think our way and, and are ready to sign up to this kind of culture and this kind of sort of um, uh, goals uh, are welcome to join. And, and so people came from everywhere, from small banks, big banks, and even from outside the market. So there's a shared vision where people have signed on. It's not that people were just here for a long time. So that makes it unique. Uh, doing the right thing by the customer uh, is very important. You know, it is, we're here because of our customers. Our customers aren't here because we're here. Uh, always remembering that and, and, and not taking our customers for granted. Uh, every one of our customers in this bank has been brought over. They were probably at some other bank very often for 10, 20 years, and to bring them over, uh, you have to be very customer-centric to do that. Uh, it's also a very simple business model. I was joking before uh, with you that this is a country bank. What I really mean by that is we're not a very, very complicated company. We make loans, we take deposits, we provide cash management services, and that's about it. We don't have a very complex business model like a lot of the big banks do where we're trying to be everything to everyone. We're not trying to sell you, you know, all kinds of uh, fee products and wealth management, insurance, and all capital markets, all the so-called fancier things. We we just do the, the the meat and potatoes, which is make loans and take deposits, and and what we do, we do well.